Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well today wherever you happening to be listening this morning. Hopefully you had a nice Easter holiday and took some time to reflect on the power of that day and why we celebrate it. This week's lesson will be a rather short one, but it's going to be to the point. We will be discussing anatomy and why that's important to Christians. Don't worry, you won't be quizzed on this, nor do you have to memorize a long list of Latin terms that describe various parts of the body, But instead, we will be looking at the spiritual body these next two weeks. This week, we'll be taking a look at the most basic unit of the spiritual anatomy, the individual, for us, a Christian. Next week, we'll do the church body as a whole. We can think of you and me as individual cells that make up this church's body. Every cell has a job to do, and when everything is working in concert, we have a healthy body. As Christians, we put our faith and hope in Jesus Christ and his death and resurrection as the atoning sacrifice to purchase our salvation. We realize we cannot save ourselves, and that as Jesus loved us, we show this same love to others. Paul in 1 Corinthians 13.13 writes this, So now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Now have you ever thought as to why love is given such a place of honor? There are several reasons, and when we live it out, we are a healthy cell and spiritually alive. First, as Paul says earlier in chapter 13, if we do not love, we are simply wasting our time. Our heart is not in the action, as well as I've said before, God wants us to want to serve him. When we serve in love, it's a choice to do so, and we are not doing it for ourselves. The second reason is this, of these three, Only love is eternal for a Christian. Right now, we are in the age of faith where we do not see God in his glory and we place our hope in Christ. These will have an end when we are called to our eternal home. In heaven, faith and hope end and we will be in the presence of the Lord face to face. Our faith and hope are realized and rewarded with eternal life. Love, however, will never cease. Our love for our Savior will burn just as bright both now and forevermore as Christians, and as God's everlasting love for us will not end because we will be there with Him. The same love that was displayed for you and me on the cross is now celebrated because the love of Christ is at the center of our faith and the origin of our hope. These show how we can be spiritual alive to a fallen world. By a life of faith and hope with the love of Christ flowing throughout everything we do, Thank you all for listening today. I hope you have a great day, a wonderful weekend, and God bless you all.